pregnancy journey coming. I hope it's going great. My name is Nas Veronica Obi, and today I want us to have a brief tete a tete. So, from my relating with um, pregnant mothers over time, I have noticed that there are some things we do during pregnancy and we think that they are just okay, they are healthy. Maybe because we've been doing these things before pregnancy and we saw them as normal. But I want to let us know that pregnancy is a different journey from our pre-pregnant state. Pregnancy comes with physical, mental, behavioral and social changes and all whatnot. Because now you are not just alone, you are carrying another human life inside of you. For this life to thrive and for you to be healthy while carrying this human life, you also need to make these changes. So today I'm going to be telling us 20 safe practices for a healthy pregnant life. So let's go! The first practice is to get a birth plan. Yes, plan for your pregnancy and delivery. Register for antenatal and attend your clinic days. Take your routine medications and don't miss them. I know some of you complain of smell, you know, and how difficult it is to take the drug, but please do. You can incorporate it in your food, but don't miss taking your medications. Avoid strenuous activities such as lifting. Do not carry heavy items. The next thing is if you must lift or pick anything from the floor, do not bend over, rather squat and pick it up. You can do mild to moderate exercises. Exercises are actually very important in pregnancy. So you have to learn to know the exercises that are appropriate for pregnant mothers and do them. Do not lie on your back, on your abdomen that's lying to face down or your right side. Lie on your left side. You can put pillows under your arm and under your back for support. Eat balanced meals every day. Also add fruits and vegetables and drink lots of water. Wear comfortable clothing, especially around your abdomen, your waist, and your legs. And wear flat, comfortable shoes. Emphasis on flat. Heels are not recommended in pregnancy. Avoid smoking and alcohol. Also avoid caffeine, that is coffee, and anything that contains caffeine like energy drinks. Avoid harmful skincare products especially bleaching and toning products. Bleaching and toning are the same thing. Mothers that want to glow, please glow with care. Use dermatologically tested and safe products for pregnant women on your skin. Don't just use anything. Take only prescribed medications. Don't go and buy over-the-counter drugs or from the drug seller in the market and drink. You are carrying a baby. Whatever you take, your baby is also ingesting it. So make sure that anything you are taking as medication is prescribed by your healthcare provider, by your doctor, and the doctor knows that you are pregnant. Ensure food hygiene. Wash your foodstuffs very well before you cook them and make sure that they are well cooked. Avoid uncooked food, except for fruits and vegetables. Please don't eat raw foods. Get adequate sleep. Please rest well during pregnancy. When you go for your antenatal clinic visits, ensure that you take your vaccine shots. These are very important for you. Get vaccinated, especially your tetanus toxin vaccine. Avoid toxic and foul smelling products, especially cleaning products. If you are someone that keeps cats, please avoid them during pregnancy, especially their feces, so you don't get infected with, with something called toxoplasmosis. Avoid exposure to excess sunlight. You can use umbrella or a safe sunscreen when you are out and under the sun. Go to the hospital immediately you feel something is wrong with you or your baby. Even when it is not yet your antenatal clinic, please go to the hospital. 
I want you to understand that your immunity is not as good as when you are not pregnant and your baby's system is not mature enough to function independently. So your baby is dependent on you for life. So if there's anything wrong with you, it will affect your baby. You should take care of yourself and stay safe during pregnancy. Till we just again, remember that I love you and I am committed to your care. Do have a good one. Bye!